Breaking news, guys. GOA and the state of Texas just filed our lawsuit suing the ATF for infringing on your rights once again. Stick around and we'll tell you exactly how the ATF violated the Constitution and federal law and what we're asking the court system to do about it. I'm Ben and you're watching the Minuteman Moment. President Biden just initiated the biggest executive gun grab in history with his pistol brace ban. Following in the footsteps of President Trump's bump stock ban, Biden also weaponized the NFA to initiate a ban and attack your gun rights. Now, just like we did back in 2018 when Trump threatened the legality of all semi-automatics by legally defining semi-automatic bump fire as machine gun fire, we just filed a lawsuit to protect your rights. This time, we know it's not just 520,000 bump stocks. It's up to 40 million pistols, which includes AR-15s, AKs, and shotguns. So is it gonna turn out the same? Will this lawsuit take years and years until a random circuit court strikes it down like bump stocks? Maybe. I don't trust anyone in any branch of the government with my gun rights. But don't worry y'all, we have a great strategy here. First of all, we're going to be going to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, which has been handing down victories in the wake of Bruin left and right. These guys are correctly applying the text and history test to the Second Amendment that the Supreme Court first mentioned in Heller, but really made the standard in Bruin. One of those victories was also the bump stock case I mentioned earlier, Cargill versus Garland. The whole circuit ruled, so we know that they won't be applying what is known as Chevron deference, aka assuming that agencies are the subject matter experts on everything and should be trusted. Because of this, we know they're willing to stand up to a rogue federal law enforcement agency who want to infringe on your gun rights, even if the ruling goes against big government. So we're hopeful that the Fifth Circuit is a strong place to file our lawsuit. But what exactly are we arguing? Well, as you might have guessed, the basis of this lawsuit is that the pistol brace ban is a blatant violation of the Second Amendment. I can't wait to see what bigoted and unknown laws the Biden administration is going to pull out of their magic hat that allows them to ban millions of firearms because of a stupid barrel length restriction. But you already knew the rule was unconstitutional. Is there anything else we're suing over? 100%. ATF has violated the Administrative Procedures Act, or APA, which governs exactly how the bureaucratic rulemaking process works. If an agency doesn't follow these rules, they have to go back and restart the whole process. For Biden, that might make it so there's just too much trouble for him to restart. So here's an exhaustive list of all the ways we believe ATF has overstepped their authority. First, they fail to observe procedure required by law. Second, this ban is arbitrary, capricious, an abuse of discretion, and not in accordance with federal law. Third, the rule is in excess of ATF's statutory jurisdiction and authority. Fourth, APA requires an agency action to be overturned if it runs contrary to constitutional right, power, privilege, or immunity, which this ban obviously does. Fifth, as you well know, this violates the right to keep and bear firearms. Sixth, if pistols really were illegal SBRs, Compliance with the ban would violate your right against self-incrimination. Seventh, ATS rule fails to give a person of ordinary intelligence fair notice that his contemplated conduct is forbidden by statute and therefore is void for vagueness under the Fifth Amendment. Eighth, this is an invalid exercise of the federal government's taxing power. Ninth, it's a prohibited direct tax. Tenth, this is a prohibited unapportioned direct tax. And finally, eleventh, ATF has violated the separation of powers by going around Congress's legislative power. Man, ATF's vast overreach really gets tiresome after a while, doesn't it? So what does that mean we're going to ask the Fifth Circuit to do? Well, GOA, GOF, and the state of Texas are respectfully requesting that the court declare the final rule violates the Administrative Procedures Act as it is beyond ATF's power, it's unlawful, it's arbitrary and capricious, it's not rooted in the proposed rule, and it's contrary to your constitutional rights. We also want them to declare that it violates the right to keep and bear arms protected by the Second Amendment. We're also going after the Fifth Amendment's prohibition on self-incrimination and due process protections against vague statutes, rules, and regulations. We want the court to recognize this action as a misuse of the constitutional taxing power, and that ATF actions violate the separation of powers doctrine because it ignored the legislative branch. In case some judges somehow decide it's valid to apply this final rule to pistol brace firearms, we're also asking them to declare the National Firearms Act as unconstitutional. We also want ATF's Chief Law Enforcement Officer notification requirement to be declared entirely without statutory authority and in violation of a constitutional right. That would mean the requirement to tell the head of your law enforcement agency would be both unlawful and against the Constitution. Then, the most important thing we want is for the court to issue an injunction prohibiting the ATF and anyone working with them from enforcing the final rule or taking any action other than rescinding the final rule. In short, stopping this whole thing from being implemented immediately. Ideally, this would be before the May 31st amnesty deadline, so no one has to register a single pistol. 
Then, of course, we'd like ATF to replace all of your donations we spent to file this lawsuit. So we're going to ask the court to grant GOA an award of attorney's fees and other litigation costs. In the meantime, if you'd like to support this case, please donate to the Gun Owners Foundation Legal Defense Fund. I'll put a link in the description. And of course, we're asking the courts to grant gun owners any other relief that the court deems just and proper and as justice so requires, aka punish the rogue bureaucrats at the ATF. So that's our lawsuit. We're taking the fight to the ATF. This is the biggest and most comprehensive counterattack to the Biden pistol ban that has been filed yet. We're so proud of our attorneys for working so hard to get this out and defend pistol braces. And we're super excited to have the great state of Texas join GOA in fighting back as we file in the Fifth Circuit. If you want to help donate to our case and help us protect your rights, you can become a GOA member at gunowners.org join. Or you can make a fully tax-deductible donation to GOF and our Legal Defense Fund over at gunowners.com contribute. And for any of you feds out there watching, the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.